Jenny. Just wanted to show you what I ended up doing for Leilani's first birthday outfit. I did a shirt, a headband, and a tutu. And it was probably less than $15 for everything. So I wanted to show you guys and share with you so you could do this for your little one too. So for her shirt, what I did, I ordered a three pack of t-shirts in 12 month size from Amazon. I think it was maybe $5. I don't even know if it even cost that much. And I'm an Amazon Prime member, so I get free shipping, free two-day shipping. So that was a bonus, too. And I only needed one of the shirts. So the other two shirts I can use for her to sleep in or use it as an undershirt. So it's a win-win situation. So here's the shirt. I got the image from Google Search. And the transfer, I wish I had the package to show you, but the transfer I got from Michael's, about $5.00 for a pack of three and it was the kind of paper that you can either draw on or print on so I went on Google search put in penguin with balloons and I printed this out after I went into PowerPoint and shrunk it down to the size I needed then I cut it all out put it down on the floor I don't have an ironing board but I put it on the floor um, on a towel or a pillowcase I can't even remember what it was but it was super easy put it down put a little bit of parchment paper on it and I guess that's just a barrier between your iron and the paper so it doesn't melt to the iron. And then I just left it on there for a few seconds. And in less than, what, 10 minutes start to finish, I have this super cute t-shirt. So that's something that you can do all year round, not just a birthday shirt, but any time of year um, for any occasion you could do this. I have two more shirts I could use if I needed to. But um, go on Google search. There's tons of free images on there. And then I have paper left over for the transfer. And I could do that for, for anything. Super easy. Way cheaper than going on Etsy or eBay. Anything like that. So for the tutu, I went on eBay. I'll put a link to the store that I went to. And I got these three spools of tools. And they were about $1.50 a piece. And I got more than plenty what I needed for the tutu. I didn't um, count how many strips of tool I ended up cutting out because I did too much. But what I did was on a one inch piece of elastic that I measured to her waist and then sewed the ends together, I put the tool um, in a pattern of two, two, two. And I did pink, blue, and then purple. And I just mimicked that all the way around the elastic. And it ended up, um, I like I said, I put too much on there so it stretched it out and it was falling down. So I took it off and I was um, able to use the excess for headband, which I'll tell you about that in a second. But it was super easy to do. Like I said, I'll put the link to the video for the tutorial. Um, she had a really good video on there. But you just take and hand sew the two pieces of elastic together that you cut. And I just did, I did a really long piece of thread because I wanted to make sure this wasn't going to come apart while she was wearing it. And I just went up and down, up and down until I ran out of thread. And then I just got to work. And it was super easy to make. I keep saying super easy, but I can't emphasize enough how super easy this, this little project was for her outfit. And I just did it at night when she went to bed. I think it took me two nights to do because um, I got tired and went to bed. But super, super, super easy. And I recommend doing that. The tutu itself was, I don't know, $7 to make. And I bought them on Etsy or eBay or somewhere, I can't remember, but I paid someone else to do it and they charged me 20 bucks plus shipping. I didn't have to pay for shipping and I didn't have to pay for somebody else's labor to do this. So easy, I don't understand why anybody wouldn't do it themselves, but it, I guess if you have to, go ahead and buy it from somebody else. Maybe I'll decide to sell and get a little profit from it. I don't know, we'll see how that goes. But that was her tutu and it was so easy and I'm so glad I did it. Now I know how to do it if I want to make some for Christmas, I could do red and green, or if I want to do for New Year's, I could do silver and gold, or anything. I mean, anything I could do. And I could do matching tutus for her and myself, or if we have another little girl one day, I could make matching outfits. The possibilities are endless. I could go on and on, but I'm not going to. Super, super, super easy. So, for her headband, it pretty much cost me next to nothing, because I have this pack of goodies headbands. I'm sure every every chick out there has it. I think it's five colors, and I can't imagine I spent more than two fifty on this pack. But I don't even wear them because I guess my head's so big they don't stay on there good. So 
I decided I need a little something extra to her outfit because she has no hair. So I couldn't put a barrette in it. So I thought, well, what kind of headband could I make? And I just, I saw this laying around um, in my hair accessory drawer. And I thought, well, I have a white one. I could do something with the white one since her t-shirt's white and I put her in white leggings. So I put this on her um, inside out and I just pitched the extra fabric that I didn't need. And what I just did, I kind of eyeballed it. I mean, I didn't do this perfect. This is um, this is not perfect by any means. But I just sewed the line of where I thought it was extra and then I cut the extra off. Then I had extra tool from the um, from the tutu that I didn't end up using. I had to pull it off because it made it too big. So I thought, well, I could do something with that. So I ended up tying it in a knot and I hand sewed the knot onto the headband. And that's the reverse side. It's not perfect, like I said, but it did the job. And it stayed on there really well because I made sure to go over it several, several, several times. Didn't want it to pop off. And, um, you know, just, just cut off the little hard pieces that might scratch your head. So anyhow, anywho, tied it in a knot. You can see the little knot there with the coloring. And I hand sewed the knot on there. I just several times went through and where I could find a spot I could attach the headband to the knot, that's what I did. And then I just cut around it and made kind of a flower. And it just was super cute on her. Super cute, super easy, perfect outfit. Like I said, it was probably less than $50 this whole thing. So I, I strongly urge you to make your baby their first outfit. You're going to look at them, everyone's going to say, oh look how adorable they look, and you're going to be so proud of yourself because you're going to say, I did that myself. So if you have any any um, questions, any tips for me, maybe I did it the hard way, maybe I complicated things, I don't know, maybe you just have something to say, leave a comment for me, like this video. I've got so many more coming, so you want to subscribe to my channel. But that's what I did for the headband. So thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you sticking around. If you liked it, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Give me a little thumbs up there. Hit subscribe. I've got so many more videos coming. I'm new to this whole vlogging thing, so I'm trying to put everything on there. Um, but i got so many more coming. So stay tuned. Hope you liked it. Leave me a comment. So thanks so much. Have a good day.